Welcome to the BioVispera channel. Our topic today is on a perspective overview of the traditional medicine. So let's discuss in this short video the roles of traditional medicine in today's society. Traditional medicine. Traditional medicine brings along the sum total of the knowledge, skill, and practices based on the theories, beliefs, and experiences indigenous to different cultures. These knowledge are often used in the maintenance of health as well as in the prevention, diagnosis, improvement or treatment of physical and mental illness. Traditional medicinal materials usually refer to restorative materials from plants, animals or minerals in their natural states or in processed forms that have undergone simple processing, such as cutting or drying. Among others, the most widely used traditional medicine systems today include those of China, India, and Africa. Traditional medicinal materials include materials used in traditional Chinese medicine, traditional Indian medicine, traditional Malay medicine, or termed Jammu, and also herbal medicines from other countries. In order to use traditional therapeutic methods, understanding and deep insight about principles, fundamentals, and methods is necessary. Traditional medicinal materials fall under two broad categories, mainly those sold in loose or bulk form and pre-packed for sales with information on dosages and or instructions for use on the packaging materials. Apart from traditional medicine, there are two other categories which include complementary medicine and herbal medicine. In this discussion, we will focus on traditional medicine mainly. Complementary medicine the terms complementary medicine or alternative medicine refer to a broad set of health care practices that are not part of that country's own tradition or conventional medicine and are not fully integrated into the dominant health care system. Herbal medicines Herbal medicines include herbs, herbal materials, herbal preparations and finished herbal products that contain as active ingredients parts of plants, or other plant materials, or combinations. Herbal medicines are often part of traditional medicine. Application Wellness and healing are the challenges traditionally addressed by medicine, empirically shaped along with the evolution of civilizations. Traditional medicines, TMs, are millennia old and offer empirical practices including medication with natural elements and focus on overall wellness. Despite the indisputable benefits of modern medicine, leveraging scientific assays and results to establish diagnosis and fight against diseases, a large part of the world still relies on the contemporary forms of traditional, complementary, and alternative medicines. Natural products and their derivatives have potential activities in the treatment of viral infections. Until now, Several herbal extracts or their derivatives have shown potential antiviral efficacies against COVID-19. Similarly, some medicinal plant extracts including Rheum or Fishnail, Polygonum multiflorum, Imodin and some other active components of these herbs were found to inhibit the bindings of SARS-CoV spike protein to ACE2 with IK50 values between 1 and 10 microgram per microliter. Moreover other studies have shown that methanolic extract of Sibotium baromets and Dioscoria batatas showed inhibitory activity against SARS-CoV-3 CLPRO with IC values of 39 and 44 microgram per microliter, respectively. In Chinese medicine, bacalin, flavone extract from Scutellaria bacalensis, was used as antiviral agent against SARS-CoV. In a recent study, a new drug known as I-2801 discovered to treat COVID-19 infection. The result shows that I-2801 significantly reduces virus replication in mouse model. I-2801 is a ribonucleoside analog with antiviral activity against influenza, Ebola and COVID, can be taken as pill reverse of remdesivir. Taken together, traditional medicine has shown significant and effective therapies for influenza are where the H1N1 strain and the H7N9 strain 
alongside Ebola and more recently the SARS-CoV. Safety Diffusion and the increasing use of traditional medicine have created challenges in public health from the point of view of politics, safety, efficacy, quality, access, and rational use especially given that traditional medicine is an important healthcare component in low-income countries. Lead, mercury, or arsenic poisoning is found to be rare but nevertheless occurs. The traditional medicinal materials should not contain any substances controlled under the poisons regulation in various countries and other prohibited substances such as pangamic acid, dantron, suprofen, and rhodamine B. Apart from that the heavy metal contents of the traditional medicinal materials do not exceed the following limits, arsenic, 5 parts per million ppm, cadmium, 0.3 ppm, lead, 20 ppm, and mercury, 0.5 ppm. Concluding Remarks Despite its existence and continued use over many centuries, and its popularity and extensive use during the last decade, traditional medicine has not been officially recognized in most countries. With the implementation of the WHO Traditional Medicine Strategy, we are gradually seeing education, training, and research in this area have progressively been accorded the due attention and support. The quantity and quality of the safety and efficacy data on traditional medicine are far from sufficient to meet the criteria needed to support its use. The supreme purpose of medicine is to prevent diseases and relieve a patient from suffering, with a spectrum of approaches that is traditionally organ and symptom-centric in Western evidence-based modern medicine or with a focus on underlying whole-body mechanisms in traditional medicine. The eventual goal is for all patients to have access to all effective interventions to prevent and treat diseases where the medicine or medical therapeutics available are supporting the preventive, predictive, personalized, and participatory strategy. Thank you for watching this video. If you like Thank you this, for video, watching this video, please smash the like button if you and like subscribe this video, to this channel please smash for future the like button updates. And subscribe to this channel See for you in our updates. next video.